Hi babes, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Mary. For today's video, I am going to be doing a review and obviously trying out the new Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte Concealers. I'm super excited. I did pick up three shades. I picked up three shades because obviously I want one to conceal, one to brighten, and the other to contour. I'm going to be doing a wear test as well so we can see together whether if they do crease or not and how do they look throughout the day. Make sure you watch the whole video so you guys can see whether these concealers are worth the price or if they're not worth it. Um, we're going to see together and yeah, so if you are interested in seeing more of these concealers, just please keep on watching. So here they are, babes, the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealers. And you guys, I ripped the bottom of the packaging because I got really impatient. I couldn't open it, so I just ripped them. So that's why they're like that. I got really excited for this launch, you guys, because I do love Huda Beauty products. I did see her video on this concealer. The concealer looked really bomb on her. So this is a buildable creamy formula that can flex from medium to full coverage while it visibly brightens and conceals. It is fragrance-free, long-wearing, crease-proof, and made to move with you. Coverage is full, and the finish is matte. I do love my matte finish, so I'm excited for this. So the formula is liquid, and the highlighted ingredients are vitamin E and sweet almond oil. So obviously we do have to take care of our under eyes because this is the most sensitive area on our face and I love a concealer that's gonna help me while making me look bomb. There's 29 shades you guys and it does retail for $29. So I did get a little I was a little iffy about the shade I was going to get. I did purchase it online. I got Granola 4.5 Golden. It matches so well, but I really wanted something to brighten up my under eye as well. I ended up getting Sugar Biscuit 3.5 Neutral. I did get uh, Honeycomb 7.7 R to contour. I am going to be moisturizing. I'm going to be using my Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I broke out here and I broke out here. Uh, if you did watch my previous video, I did tell you guys that I shaved my face. I shaved my peach fuzz. But um, I really shouldn't because I do have sensitive skin. and uh, But I still do it anyways. No entiendo. And I had really good skin the past week. The No, wait, actually two weeks ago I had really good skin. And then I shaved and then oh my god. So I broke out. And for my SPF you guys, I'm using my Laneige Hydro UV Defense. I love this sunscreen you guys because it doesn't leave a white cast like other SPFs do and not only that but it doesn't make my foundation look any different so I'm really excited to use my faux filter luminous matte foundation all over again I feel like it's been a minute since I've used this foundation so I kind of had forgotten that this is sh shade is light very very light on me so I think I'm gonna have to mix it with my Okay, so this is not going to work out. It's way too light. But I'm going to go ahead and put some of my NARS Soft Soft Matte Aruba Foundation. So I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender and this is Stamp Wet. And I'm going to start off with the contour shade and I'm going to use Honeycomb 7.7R. And I'm going to apply that onto the side of my forehead. My uh, concealer, I'm going to be using Sugar Biscuit 3.5N. So I'm going to be using the lighter one, you guys, because I do want a very bright under eye. And since I don't really, I did put a little bit of foundation just underneath just to hide those dark circles better. 
So I really do love the applicator, you guys. It's so soft and I love how the shape of it. So this is a nine millimeter concealer and it's a 0.30 ounces, which should last me a good amount of time. So I am going to be using my damp beauty blender to blend out these shades. I'm gonna start off with the darker shade first. such a pretty shade if i need to go over it with the foundation i still have some on my sponge another side and blend down the forehead area just tapping in the sponge not like rubbing it oh i forgot <laughs> i did forget to put some on my forehead as well for this concealer i'm gonna blend out using the last clean side of my sponge a little goes a long way, you guys. I didn't even put that much, and look at that. I absolutely love the coverage. It's so bomb. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that deeper shade. I'm gonna go ahead and set with my one size translucent powder and my powder pop. Now I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Hula Contours palette on the areas where I did apply that deeper shade of concealer. It's been a while, I'm gonna go ahead and take this powder off. Okay, babe, so this is what the concealer looks like with the powder on top. I did bake for like a minute. I didn't leave it on for long. I really do love how it looks. I am going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of the face and show you guys what it looks like with the finished look. Okay, babe, so this is the final look. Um, this is what the concealers look like. I did set my face and everything. So it is 10, 14 a.m. And obviously I'm going to go and do what I do. And then I'm going to come back on here and show you guys how the concealer looks. Okay, babe. So I am back and it is 1, 2 p.m. It's been a few hours that I've had this concealer on. And... This is what it looks like. It's still looking really good. Um, there's no creases. Unfortunately, I am going to be taking off my makeup already because, girl, it's so hot and I'm going out and I don't really want to wear my makeup in the heat. Like, I just don't feel comfortable, especially since I did break out. Not that it has to do anything with the makeup. It's just me protecting my skin. But I have tested this concealer out pretty much the whole weekend and I've worn it for, um more than three hours more than what i'm gonna wear today and it's been really really good i freaking love it uh, it worked really really good with the foundations as well I do love this concealer it is worth the price i'm so glad i got that my contour shade as well because i wasn't planning on getting it but i'm so happy i did i love the shade and i love how it looks and yeah you guys so that's pretty much it thank you so much if you did watch my video to the end i appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to my channel girl don't be shady help me reach a thousand subscribers comment down below anything and i'll see you guys and girls in my next video bye